Thank you, Kristen. Welcome, everyone, to our presentation of Five Things You Need to Know About Data Migration. My name is Wayne Hoyt, and I'm one of the business development managers at ITI. I've worked with PLM and related fields for over 20 years. Our hope is that we leave you with some insightful tips as you consider your PLM migration strategy and that we properly introduce ourselves as trusted partners in this space so you know who you can turn to with questions. First, I'd like to give you a brief overview of ITI. ITI was founded in 1983 to foster interoperability for CAD, CAM, and CAE users. The idea was to make CAD data more readily available and more useful to larger groups of CAD content creators and consumers. Since that time, we've grown to over 140 employees with an annual revenue of more than $30 million. We have five offices in the U.S. and Europe, and in 2019, we became a wholly owned subsidiary of Wipro Limited. At ITI, we are integration experts and the preferred solution supplier for Creo, NX, ERP, and other integrations for our partners, such as Dassault Systems, Siemens, Aris, and PTC. We are also data migration experts with more than 16 years experience. Our dedicated migration teams focus solely on data migration projects and have completed more than 160 production projects to date. We migrate data from legacy engineering systems like SmartTeam, EPDM, ProPDM, or unmanaged files on disk, etc., as well as all of the major PLM systems like Anovia, 3D Experience, TeamCenter, Windchill, and Aris Innovator. But enough of that, let's move on to today's topic. Five things you need to know about data migration. Our goal is that when you leave this presentation, you'll have five useful tips as we fill in these blanks how you can optimize the value of your migration, a specific approach to get the full benefits of your migration faster, an essential process for saving downstream time and effort, how not to miss an opportunity that enables enterprise-wide gains in efficiency, and last, how you can preserve your investment in legacy data. Starting with thing number one, optimize the value of migration through holistic data analysis. Holistic data analysis results in a deep understanding of all your data, regardless of its origin, and how it can all fit together in your 2B target system. What is holistic data analysis? Simply put, it means analyzing all of your data sources and understanding how the data interacts. When you're faced with migrating data coming from multiple sources, you need a complete methodology to navigate the waters. And to properly analyze data from multiple sources like PLM, ERP, CAD, BOM, and document management systems, you need highly specialized software tools. Using specialized tools, holistic data analysis enables a greater understanding of the data and the scope of the migration. Why do you need specialized tools to analyze your data? It's difficult to comprehend the amount of data involved without a deep analysis. Your databases probably contain significant amounts of data that you're unaware of because you don't see it or use it on a regular basis. The sheer volume of relationships between data can be overwhelming. Relationships alone can number in the hundreds of millions or even billions. For example, we're currently working on a project with more than 2.5 billion relationships that requires a lot of analysis. Without understanding the full scope, key decisions may be wrong. You can't make proper decisions until you understand the full scope of your data. A proper tool set becomes critical in analyzing the complex interconnectivity between data, especially when it's coming from multiple sources. Considering the immense quantity of data, even a basic analysis is difficult or impossible to perform without good software tools. Holistic data analysis tools generate detailed reports and understanding of the data critical to success. This kind of analysis gives you the full view of your data. By analyzing the data from all of your sources and by treating the data as a whole and not just a bunch of separate sources, we can create a clear path through the complexity. That leads us to pro tip number one. A good tool set is critical. ITI's tools have been carefully honed over 16 years and are fine-tuned for each individual project. Relying on the source systems, APIs, or other generic tools can make the export and loading processes take longer and be less effective. Large amounts of data can only be analyzed and understood properly with good data analysis tools. Now on to thing number two. Get the benefits of PLM faster through 
a multi-domain migration approach. A multi-domain migration, which includes CAD, PLM, ERP, may be less risky than an incremental data migration that stages the data by each domain. When you have multiple data sources like we saw in thing number one, it's critical that the data is migrated with a proper understanding of how it's all related. Do the right things at the right time. Any perceived cost or effort savings used in an incremental strategy may be offset by the business impact of having multiple systems continuing to exist with shared data, keeping systems in sync, etc. We usually recommend the Big Bang approach. Migrate all the data, all the time. Migrating piecemeal can create more risks, including segmenting data in the database that should be interrelated. We migrate all the data every time we iterate through a test load to help ensure accuracy. Working from the results of our earlier holistic data analysis, we can see below the surface of these large data sets. We can fully understand the scope of the data, which data and relationships need to be maintained and loaded into the new PLM system, and then retire the legacy systems. Leading us to pro tip number two, consider all your data. Think about data from all of your sources, not just the largest one. When you have data in multiple systems, it's important to know when to migrate the data as a single unit, the Big Bang approach, rather than taking a piecemeal approach. To make this distinction, you need to consider all your data. Next, thing number three, save valuable downstream time and effort by automating data prep and cleanup. Don't waste your engineer's time by making them clean up legacy data. ITI has tools that automate this very time intensive process. Some items cannot be cleaned up after migration. It's important to do this first. Save valuable downstream time and effort by automating the data prep process. And prep should be driven by business decisions and guided by migration experts. The ability to automate data prep is another benefit of the holistic data analysis that allows us to use our tool set to screen out data on a large scale thereby making the entire migration more efficient. We can automatically screen out things like broken relationships and old revisions with our tools, saving vast amounts of time. ITI uses tools that we've developed over the years for the ETL process, export, transform, load, and for reporting during the data prep and before the final production load. Here's a high-level walkthrough of the steps we take for data preparation. We use our tools to extract the data from the source system into an intermediate proprietary format that we then load into our PLM migration center, the PMC. In the PMC, we do some post-processing resulting in detailed analysis of the data and relationships that exist in the database. This automatically generates detailed reports that ITI then reviews with the customer and uses to refine the data transformation for loading and testing. We make multiple iterative steps through the export, transform, and load process. In the end, it can take as many as 10 to 20 passes through the PMC process, but we know that the data loaded into the new PLM system is validated and ready to use. Now, pro tip number three, reduce manual labor. Take advantage of automated tools to reduce the time and costs associated with manual data cleanup. Relying on the source system's APIs or other generic tools can make the extraction and loading take much longer and be less effective. Large amounts of data can only be properly handled with good data management tools. So on to thing number four, enable enterprise-wide efficiency by transforming multi-domain legacy data to support the 2B PLM vision. Okay, this one's a lot, let's simplify it a bit. Use the migration as an opportunity to move past old paradigms. Do not repeat the past. Don't dump old data into a new system. In fact, you probably can't just dump the old data into your new system because they'll have different data models. Do not constrain your new PLM system. Rules for the new system shouldn't be built to support legacy data. Having the new system reflect what you want for the future is a major business benefit. Do keep your eye on the future. Always focus on the 2B system. You need to strike a balance with your legacy data and your new system. Take the time to transform data not only to the new system, but to the new business practices and processes that come with it. Transforming legacy data to support the 2B PLM vision is the perfect balance. So, pro tip number four, focus on the target. 
Don't let old data management constraints dictate your new business processes. How data was managed in the past may have been a constraint. Legacy systems and technologies, outdated business practices, organic growth for mergers and acquisitions. A migration project is a great opportunity to review and improve the handling of your data. So this brings us to thing number five. What if you don't want to move all of your legacy data into the new system? What if you want only, for example, the current revisions? What do you do with your legacy data? This brings us to thing number five. Preserve your investment in legacy data with a long-term relational archive. You may be tempted to migrate everything from the legacy systems, but it's not always practical or necessary to drag along old, unused data into a new environment. It can be challenging to migrate all your legacy data, and it may not be beneficial. Use an archive for data that does not need to be migrated, enabling you to retire legacy systems. With easy access to a secure archive, the migration process is faster, and all data owners can rest assured that the legacy data remains intact. Legacy data can be archived in a standalone database with our proprietary interface for future access as needed. This is a fully relational database. You can search by wildcard name, advanced search by type, name, revision, attributes, or date. You can query complete object properties. You can also navigate top-level objects, child dependencies and where used, instances within a family table, revisions, versions of an object, support for as stored and latest configurations. And last, download, a recursive copy of all files needed for a given object. And now on to our last pro tip number five, preserve data with an archive. Archiving preserves data and the all important relationships for future read-only access. Our data archives are standalone databases with a proprietary interface that preserve legacy data and the all important relationships. Finally, let's summarize our five things. Number one, Optimize the value of migration through holistic data analysis. Number two, get the benefits of PLM faster through a multi-domain migration approach. Number three, save valuable downstream time and effort by automating data prep and cleanup. Number four, enable enterprise-wide efficiency by transforming multi-domain data to support the 2B PLM vision. And number five, preserve your investment in legacy data with a long-term relational archive. I added one more, number six, choose ITI for your data migration partner. Okay, that wraps it up, Kristen, back to you.